Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? Just turning things down a little bit, just that I've got everything on the case. How are we all doing this evening? Hello, hello, hello. We're just about to start carrying on with some FF4. However, the only problem with playing a game every week, as opposed to like on like the regular, like on a daily basis or anything like that, is that I tend to forget where I was. <laughs> <laughs> but thankfully, thanks to you guys over in the chat just there, uh, I have last left off, we'd just been doing some grinding outside of Troya. So I do remember that. Hello there, Finn Evermore. How, Finny Evermore, everyone, how, how are you doing? Hi, Wing Paragon, Tintagel, Goose, JRPG, Catmad, how you all doing? But before we get started, of course, because this goes up on YouTube every time I do this, uh, we do have announced a patron and give a shout out every time I release a video. So if you are watching this on YouTube, it is an added benefit to my uh, Patreon. If you'd like to check the links for that, either in my panels, if you're watching on Twitch, or the description box if you're watching on YouTube. But today that person is going to be Shark Toto, who is brand new to my Patreon. So thank you very much for joining in. And as you can see, despite the term Toto in the name, X-Death is their character choice for their title card, so if you'd like more benefits such as being a part of Would You Pull, or being a part of Would You Pull in my Should You Pull videos, other exclusive polls, behind the scenes footage, and loads of other stuff, then perhaps consider checking that link out. Thank you very much for that gifted sub there, Light Husky, it's very kind of you. Now, I can uh, just get on with the game now, can't I? <laughs> right, the last thing I checked is we'd just done some farming, and I don't know if we actually came into Troya or not. So I'm just going to have a quick gander and see if there's anything I actually need to pick up here. Because I don't remember if I actually bought anything. Oh no, I do remember I came here. No, I came here over a very, very short period of time. But I don't remember buying anything. Because all of the gear wasn't that great. But I do remember actually being told about having... No metallic weaponry. I remember that bit. So I'm going to check that now. Because I remember that bit. Leather... That is, but those aren't. Don't know if that is or not. And I don't know if the claws are or not. So I don't remember, like, we're just gonna have to kind of go with it and see what happens, I think. It's a little bit tragic, but big, um, big cool stuff that's happening. Um, we're very close to 5,000 followers on Twitch. Like, very close. Like, it says um, 4957 down there for some reason, because it takes ages to update on Streamlabs. But we're actually closer to five, no, 4970. So we're less than th we're less than 40 follows away from 5,000, which is absolute madness. So thank you all very much for being here, as always. Um, yeah, it's been pretty mad. So if I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy because these shards don't count as. Um, I mean, I've got loads of gills, so it's not going to hurt me to pick them up. I know, yeah, it's crazy stuff. I want to do something for 5k, but I'm already in the middle of a giveaway. Which, of course, by the way, if you haven't followed the channel already, thank you very much, Riari Cloud, for that follow. Massive thank you to you. But following this channel, if you click on the link in the description box below, does enter you into the giveaway for the Alexander painting, which is timed perfectly well with my Nightbot mentioning it to everybody as well. Um, and this is painted by myself. If you want a chance of winning this, uh, it ends in just under three weeks. So if you want a chance of winning this, then click the link in the panels or description box below, and then you can be in with a chance of winning that. It's a very personal thing, so I hopefully, when that comes to, whoever wins that, I hope will hang it on their wall and send me a picture of it, because I want to be able to show it to everybody as well. Hi there, Meteor, how are you? Oh yeah, well, I did come here because she's like sunbathing in like a full length gown. It's like, yeah, all right, girl, you do you. Um, so let's go out and I think, I, you know, I know where I didn't go and that was the castle. I didn't go to the castle and I'm assuming that's where I need to be. So let's go in there. Troya Castle. Hello, Luca, how are you? Yeah, she's living her best life in her full length gown. May you find rest and respite with narwhals. You wish to speak of the crystal, then you will need to seek audience with the Epopts inside the castle proper. Epopts? That's an interesting word. The Epopts are solemn servants of the divine. Conduct yourself with the utmost respect in their presence. Do you know what? I, I, mean, I don't know if it's today or if it's just been for the past while, but I am absolutely itching to get to some sort of an event 
whether it be like something or like a place I can cosplay or just like a, a festival, I'm just absolutely scratching at the walls to get to something where there's loads of people. The man claims to be a prince. Well, I guess we know who that is. Troya has never known war. We are a peaceful people. Yes, if it came to arms, I'm not sure we would able, be able to fully defend ourselves. So, Edward's here somewhere then. It is a nice track. It's a bit, nice bit of music, definitely. But all the music in this is really good, to be fair. It's part of the reason why I'm playing the 3D version. I know that a lot of people have, like, nostalgia attached to the original, like the PSP or the 2D version. But have, as somebody who's never played the 2D one, I thought, I'm just going to go into this one. Initiated into secrets. Aha! Uh -huh. There's an Edward. Hello, Edward. Also, I have tea. I'm allowed tea. Just once for this week. I'm having one cup of tea. With my backwards J on my cup. Because it's... <laughs> because it's backwards on my camera. <laughs> I must fight by your side again. No. Because nobody wants you in the party. <laughs> Don't be a fool, you need to rest and recover. Tell her, you're well then. Please accept my apologies for what happened to Anna. She died because of me. Know that I'm truly... <laughs> Edward, you mustn't strain yourself to speak. Your car broke down yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you manage to get it fixed okay? I accidentally dinged my car the other day, or the other week actually. Oh, like coming out of my partner's parents' house, it was really embarrassing. And the side lamp got broken on one of the lights, so I need to go and get that fixed. So I was very embarrassed. What of Rydia? No, she's gone. I couldn't save her. I see, the poor child. Forgive me, all of you are fighting, then I but lie in bed. Don't you worry, me and my enterprise are taking up the slack. I hear you rest your neck for Cecil and Rosa. Now it's my turn. You just leave things to old Sid for a while. You're Sid? Then you escaped with an airship? Wait, Cecil, what's become of Rosa? She remains captive. They've demanded Troya's earth crystal in exchange for her life. But the crystal's already gone, stolen by a dark elf. Cecil, I want you to have this. What is it? It's the only way I can accompany you now. Please carry it with you. The Whisperweed. Cecil, you must save Rosa. Well, there's a harp there. Edward's harp rests upon the floor. Oh, it's not a special harp. Prince Edward is bedridden. You mustn't make him exert himself. He had a fragile constitution to begin with, and now he's weakened even more. Did you manage to have a nice birthday yesterday, at least? Did you manage to do other things? I know you popped into stream for a little while. I, I mean, to be fair, my other half's car uh, had to replace the battery because there's just no reason to drive it when we're all in quarantine, is there? Do not speak to me as if I were some common grandmother. I am Troy's Lady Chancellor. The epops you'll find in the chamber behind us. Sounds lovely. Well, they don't. If, if, if a car doesn't get used for an extended period of time, then it does mean that the battery's going to run dry. Been stolen by a dark elf and grows weaker by the day. So I need to talk to all of them. Nice. Hi there, these nuts. How are you? Oh, is that where the crystal would have been? I suppose, because it's a crystal chamber. I really like the selfie part of my Discord because at the end of the day, people are like we're way beyond the age where people don't post photos. I mean, we all live on. Well, I don't. I want to, but I don't live on Instagram. So therefore, people don't care about an anonymity with their photos these days. So I put a, a selfie section in my Discord channel a while back um, because I kind of just wanted to get to know everybody. Thank you very much. The Broadway Cyan. That's a new one. <laughs> How are we all doing? What have you all been up to today, anyway? It's got while I'm exploring this castle. I was talking to um to uh, I've been talking about getting back into into fighting games. Really, like I've been, I've been desperately trying to. F the trouble is, it's all time management. The more time I spend on my stream, the more the less time I have to play games outside of it. So I just think, oh, thank you very much for the prime sub there, Cobalt. One year. Thank you very much indeed. Lesson plans for students. Lunch break. Oh, you're at work at the moment. Any fighting games on my radar at the moment? Um, I've been kind of convinced about picking up possibly King of Fighters 15. 
because as much as I'm not a huge King of Fighters fan, not because it's a bad game, just because you know when there's games that just don't, like, where there's, well, fighting games in particular, there's nothing left for me here, I don't think. Um, there are, like, there's just no characters in King of Fighters. There's no, like, there's a few, there's a fair few that I quite like, but none that, like, absolutely scream at me. I did find that. I don't know if I came down here or not. The trouble is I'm talking, so I was, Ah, there are treasure chests in here. I haven't been here. Tent. Tent. Okay, do you want to go in the room, love? See, King of Fighters is one of those ones that, like... Because King of Fighters was never... Or SNK in general have never really been much of a thing in Europe until much later. Oh, bless you, Tintagel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't ruin your sleep schedule on my behalf. A ruby ring. Um, right, okay. So, if I've got to equip one of those shards instead of the Mythgraven Blade for the time being. Just whatever, I think. Yeah, I think Capcom vs. SNK was my introduction as well. Like, I learnt about some of the characters, but I never really played any of the SNK characters in that game, to be honest. <laughs> I just didn't. I played Street Fighter characters and Morrigan. Like, you know, King of Fighters is just not... Um, a franchise that's ever really been big in Europe. Like, it's, it's very much a, like, an American and Asian thing, as far as I can tell anyway. Uh, right, so now... Oh, they've been farming, so that's all good. They're doing their bit. Um, I think I've gotten... No metallic items. I'll have to double check. I'm sure I'll soon find out. <laughs> Fridays are really busy for me in general. Like, I often find that, like... Um, oh, level 26, nice. Uh, I often find that because I have to make videos and stuff at the same time, it gets really, really heavy. Where's this cave then? Somebody mentioned a cave. Over here, maybe? No. Oh, you're playing the other version. Walk north from Troy. Oh, what? Just down here, I suppose. Go to the Chocobo Forest. Right, okay. I shall do that then. Uh, I am going to quickly check my status for HP, etc. Because I might need to pop to the inn first. Um, no, not really. It won't make much difference, will it? So I assume if I go up... Well, I'll be fighting things on the way, that's okay. <laughs> Hi there, Hatsuyume, how are you? Oh, and then, oh, there's a black chocobo there. Oh, okay. Sid's level went up, nice. So there's a chocobo forest. That'll be the chocobo forest I'm looking for. Fat chocobo. There's the black chocobo. Is there a white one that can restore my MP? Wait. Found some gistle greens. Nice. Hi there, Phantom. How are you? Yeah, we'll have some MP back, please. Can't hurt, can it? Caught you black chocobo. So what? Ah, it's a flying chocobo. Ah. So the cave I'm looking for, you said was east. It'll be that then, I assume. The magnetic field in this cave is unbelievable. Better remove all of our metal armor and weapons if you want to be able to move in here. My claws don't seem to be affected and we have my magic as well. There's nothing to fear. Hi there, Braggins. How are you? Okay, no metal stuff. Claws are fine, apparently. Oh, 
well, let's bring the map up because we want to make sure we clear the map every time. Kick. Uh, cover Teller, I guess, because Teller is my healer at this point. Sid. Defend. I don't want you to attack if you don't have to. Oh wow, poor old Cecil's just doing nothing. Cecil just does nothing, so basically he's curing for this poor of the game then by the looks of things. That's fine. Hi there, Tractor, how are you? So none of Cecil's equipment works. Right, okay. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're going white mage with Cecil in here, I think. I think that's the way we're going about it. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm glad you saw it. I, to be honest with you, I actually completely... Like, I, I was really hot on it. I sat there and I like, it, like, did all my editing, did everything I needed to do to upload it the following day, and then just completely forgot about it until this morning. I was just like, oh god, I've just realised I've just... Uh, I've completely forgotten to um, to upload, to actually make it public. I was just like, oh, how embarrassing. Have a, um, we've got ether, so we can do a bit of damage with, with Teller. Yeah, Cecil's just going full healer at this point. She wasn't too bad. She wasn't too bad. I'm finding that like it's weird because like I'm I'm just trying to figure a figure my way. I feel like I'm learning Twitch all over again recently. It's really bizarre. I feel like I'm just learning everything all over again. There's a really bizarre thing that like I've because I've kind of just done things my way the whole time. I feel like I'm not using my platform to its to its high, to, to its full potential. Oh, preemptive strike, lovely. Just attack, attack, attack. You fixed your GPU fan. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, those are hurting. Hi there, Origin. How are you? Get the Curer on. Hopefully, Yang will finish these off before that. If I haven't used it yet, give Tsunami to Teller. Oh, I might not have done, actually. Box fan life support. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> that sounds absolutely terrifying. Tsunami and something else. Okay. I am, Do you know what? I am. I am. I'm loving FF4 at the moment. Just because... I think that it's because... Um, a lot of the game... A lot, a lot of other games... I felt that I... Um, I don't know. The earlier games, they're quite difficult to like really sink your teeth into. Whereas this one's got a real proper story. Okay. I have to give him one of these. So, let's give him a Tsunami. So, tell us Tsunami, yeah? Give him Bard Song. Okay. So, have him learn Tsunami. The Kagnatsos, or Kanyatsos. Ugly mug pop up. Um, what does that even do, Tsunami? Is that just an attack? Because then he can spam that, right, can't he? Attack all enemy. Oh, it still costs MP. Yeah, we don't want to do that then. Is Bard Song something I'll get before Teller leaves? That's fine then. So we can carry on. Oh, where was my 1%? Rudeness. Where have I missed a bit? I have to scour the floor, the corners now. What you can really do, just attack. Yeah. 
Oh, the very start of it. That's rude. <laughs> so we'll have to run back to the beginning. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it, yeah. I see the little, I don't know if you can even see that on the stream. By the way, I hope you guys like the new overlay because I thought that for games like this, having the gameplay footage be bigger, I thought was just much nicer for everybody. Um, so I've just, I, I, I mean, I had a couple of people while I was streaming Dissidia say that they didn't like it, but I like that they preferred the fact that I swapped between two. But I think that um, it's nicer, honestly, just, oh, okay, you're, you're petrified, that's not great. Just attack something. Don't petrify everyone, because that would be very bad. Uh-oh. Right. Fire up, because I'm not taking any risks here. Okay, that's fine. They died. That's okay. And that'll hopefully die before Teller gets a spell off. Yeah, that's okay. We, we can we can live with that. But poor old Cecil. Nah. Poor old Cecil. Well, the I mean, to be honest, like, I tried to, like, bring my artness into into the realness that is my overlay because it's golden ratios golden proportions your eye is drawn to the uh, to the game itself then it goes around the corner to the goals then to the chat and then up to me it's all about proportionizing uh well i mean after i mean i've still got so many games to play through it's not even funny let's cure her Kick, attack, you can blizzard and that'll be alright. Oh good, I'm glad that you guys like it, because it's something like, when you, you whenever you change anything, when it comes to streaming or anything like that, you're like, oh no, people are going to hate it. That's true, yeah, no, that's, that's a good tip, thank you for that. Crip 73. Well done, Cecil. Well done. Thank you for your thank you for your contribution. Joe, I really need to go back to Dragon Quest XI, like really badly. Oh, Cecil level up. We like Cecil level ups. Yeah, if, if Teller's got Osmos, I can be more liberal liberal with my spells. I just get, I'm really frugal with these things and because I'm, I'm terrified of the idea that I'll end up like in a position where I can't get back out and then I game over and then I've wasted hours of gameplay and that'd be really embarrassing. I want to try and like start, like is it really bad that I kind of want to get through FF4 and 5 because I want to get to 6 because it's been so long since I've played it. Like, I'm really enjoying 4, like, really enjoying 4, and 5 is one of my favourites, but 6 is the one that I've just not played for, like, literally over a decade. So I'm like, I really just want to get into 6. <laughs> yeah, no, Dragon Quest XI is a fantastic game, it really is. I just, I got as far as, um, I think I was, I'm in Act 2, and I just could because I reviewed it last year, and I absolutely loved it, and I just haven't had time to go back to it. There's so many games I want time to go back to and just haven't. It's really sad. <laughs> Taking all of these routes to get any items. Yes, with the preemptive strikes come through. Yeah, no, I mean, for, uh, to be honest, I haven't even been on 14 all that much recently because I've been doing the uh, Replicant. And I'm, I'm going to do some uh, some of the side missions from the Air Replicant off screen because they are a little bit tedious to watch. Like, the main story for the Air is fantastic. I definitely think I still prefer... Oh, thank you so much, Paragon. Thank you for the donation. Towards Mog Pass, that'll, that'll you know... I don't pull bursts <laughs> into Cydia, so I have to do it the hard way. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much for saying so as well, okami Ann. That's very kind of you. I do try, and I'm really... That's the other thing I'm trying to do, is I'm really trying to find time to branch out with my videos. Because they take so... Like, because I do all the research and everything, I need to sit and do... In fact, next week, I'm going to do my stream for Future Pools 4. Because it's a video that a lot of people have been asking me about. Loads of people want it from me. Because they expect it from me. 
But I think that it'll be like, it's the next thing I need to do for Dissidia. And it's going to help me with um, just planning everything. I've played Okami to death. okami Ann. Do not worry. I am an Amaterasu stan. Big time. I've played Okami Den. I've played Okami multiple times. I live for that game. <laughs> it's so good. And I just wish that they would do one... Um, like, I, I wish that they would do one yesterday. Like, like do a, a second game yesterday. Do you know what I mean? Like, where is Okami 2? I think, well, I'm also going to take a very different approach with the Future Pulls thing. Because I know that it's, like I said, it's one that a lot of people are, are, are looking forward to from me. Um, and I, I need to do it for my own benefit as well. Because I've been really caught up in, like, other people's hype. And I need to, like, realign, refocus, get back to where I was, know which ones I actually need to skip, you know, which ones I need to do. Because my resources have just gone... Why am I under a DFFOO? What? I... Ah! I didn't do put it under... I actually did change the thing, and it does that all the time. It's very annoying. It's really irritating that it does that. I actually did change it, and for some reason it... It puts it back to Dissidia. It's like the it's like the game itself wants me to only play Dissidia. <laughs> it's like no, we do other things now. Now why can't I get to that bit down there? There's a bit there and I can't. Ah. No problem, Bupa. Thank you for coming. Right. So I had to get there from the other side. Vampire fangs. Sure. Why not? I can leave it on auto, which is really pleasant. Like, for this point in the game, it's nice that I can actually leave this on auto, because it means I can focus on the chat and talking to you guys, which I always appreciate. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I don't know. Well, to be fair, Capcom still look at Okami, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did make one, but I don't know if they'd be able to recapture the magic, you know? You never... It's like... Mm, I want him to do another one, but I want him to do it right. Because Clover is now Platinum. And Platinum don't make bad games, like, ever. Actually, has there ever been a bad Platinum game? Like, ever? They make some of my favourite games ever. More level ups. Right, now we need to actually cure people. That's better. Let's go down this way. Thank you very much for the follow there, JS Road. Very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. We're like, we need to push. We're pushing. We're pushing for that for that new uh, uh, yeah, milestone. Oh, there's a save point right here. Like, really? I quite like Wonderful 101. Like, it's not up there with the others, but I do quite like it. At least I know that that save point's there. Do I have MK11 or Soul Calibur 6? Um, I do, but they're probably the ones I'm least likely to play. <laughs> I'm very much a Street Fighter Smash Bros guy. But I'm, I'm open to learning them. I'm open to learn. Well, I'm open to learning Soul Calibur 6, not so much Mortal Kombat. I love Mortal Kombat as a single player game. I don't really enjoy the multiplayer, I like the actual combat of it. I like it as a story game, which I know is really weird. But I really like it for its story, because it's cheesy, and it knows it, and it loves it. Where, I mean, Soul Calibur 6, I mean, Soul Calibur was my first love for fighting games. Well, sort of. It was one of my first loves for fighting games. I am a Resident Evil fan, yes. I haven't seen the new Mortal Kombat film, because I can't watch it in the UK. It's not out here. So I'm going to have to wait until the, um... I have to wait until the cinemas reopen, and they show it there, because then I can watch it. Yeah, May 17th they all reopen. Was Star Fox Zero Platinum? Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I really wanted to like that, and it, yeah, that was not good. Oh, that's a nice drop, actually. We'll give that to Yang. Definitely give that to Yang. 
Oh, there's a bit round there I might be able to explore. What other games did I have Platinum made? I mean, the big ones for me, Bayonetta, obviously. We live, we live and breathe Bayonetta. Um, Vanquish. Vanquish was actually really good. I'm trying to think of other ones. Um, hmm. Let me think. Google Platinum Games lowest rated game is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. Yeah, that I, that I would not have known anything about that one. <laughs> Let's have a quick cure up. See, they're not taking too much damage. I think I'm nicely leveled. Astral Chain. Actually, there you go. There's a Platinum game. Like, I know Astral Chain is really good, but for some reason, I've really struggled to get into it. Like, really struggled. I don't know what it is. I think it's because the hardware didn't quite match up to it. I quite liked Anarchy Reigns, but only because Bayonetta was in it. I'm not going to lie. I played Anarchy Reigns because Bayonetta was in it. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's my stand. Right there. I just think Shinji Mikami is like one of the legendary game developers. Like he made Resident Evil. He made um, like Devil May Cry. He's just a, an amazing game designer. And he doesn't get celebrated nearly enough. Like, you know, people talk about your Hideo Kojimas, your Miyamotos, etc. But in terms of Japanese developers, I think that he, like, Shinji Mikami is way up there. 100% he is. Such a good designer. Like, I mean, we have, we have so many games that we owe to him. Oh, I don't know if I could play a randomizer Resident Evil. Resident Evil is actually one of my favourite franchises, but only certain ones. Like, I like old school Resident Evil, like 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica. Um, I do like 4 a lot, but I think that 4 was the Kingdom Hearts birth by sleep of the, of the Resident Evil world, where it was really good, but everything that followed it took the wrong cues from it. Um, it's very that. Like, 5 I enjoyed because it was stupid. Um, 6... Yeah, alright. <laughs> I think you're right, Goose. I actually do. I think he's extremely... Like, I think he's very good at what he does, but I think that people do tend to overhype him. Thank you very much for the host, Forty. Hope you're well. Um, right, so we'll tent up here. Get some... Get, get, get some of that MP. Like, yeah, the, Birth by Sleep is is the turning point of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, and not in a good way. <laughs> really good game, everything that followed it took the wrong cues from it, and then it, like, whoopsed out of it. So, and then three happened. <laughs> I did wonder if there was a room I hadn't been into. So far, so good. Yes, we're, 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 I had to try and remember where I was when I first loaded up, but yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Back attack, rudeness. And we're straight to paralysis, but at least it's happened there. Yeah, that was always my issue with Kingdom Hearts 3. It's like, I think that it just forgot who it was. It forgot who it was. It's like, you're meant to be a crossover game, but you've kind of, no shade to the Kingdom Hearts fans in the audience. I know that you're out there. But I think it kind of crawled up its own ass a little bit. Mm. No spoilers for, for Mortal Kombat, please. I haven't seen it yet. Like I said, none of that. Because I'm actually a massive fan of the 90s one. I can sit, I love quotable movies. If a movie's really quotable, then I'll instantly love it. And you don't get much more quotable than Mortal Kombat 90s. Absolutely. It's the magical story of Liu Kang's hair. It's all about Liu Kang's hair. It is the chosen one. Look, at least I've taken a while, aren't I? The only thing I wish with this game is that the, the, the pacing of the fights was a little bit quicker. And the inconsistent frame rate really bothers me. Oh, thank you very much for popping in, JRPG fan. That's alright, no one really cares about Ermac anyway. 
Teleport. Oh, nice. I'll take teleport. That's a useful spell. I'm actually going to tent again. I'm going to save because I reckon we're coming up to a boss. And I've got plenty of tents, so... I think, unfortunately, like, it's just, it, it's, it's, like I said, it took the wrong cues from its success and ran with the wrong ones. And therefore it kind of forgot who it was. That's my issue with Kingdom Hearts. Like, when I think back to the old ones, there was a magic that three and three, five, eight days and coded and, um, 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, pi everything else, it just lost its way. I mean, you're talking about Mortal Kombat characters. I don't think it takes a genius to guess who my favourite Mortal Kombat character is. Just put it out there. I don't think it takes a genius. <laughs> but we've been down there. <laughs> Got it in one. <laughs> Spider Silk. Oh no! Well, I mean, Sindel's up there, but it's not Sindel. <laughs> I do like Sindel. <laughs> you don't get much more fierce than, like, shouting at people and removing all of their organs, or, or whipping it, literally. But it's not, it's not Sindel. Yeah, but Nier's story is complicated with a purpose. It's still trying to tell a story, it's still sending a message that is rooted in reality. You can only hear so much about hearts, darkness, darkness, hearts before you get bored. But I think that, um, but you know, going back to um, like, like the Mortal Kombat side of things, like how would how could anyone think that Melina was not my favorite character? You've seen my favorite characters in games. <coughs> Excuse me. I always sneeze on stream all the time. All the time. By the way, today is the last day of April, so if you want to support the channel further, then any subs, etc. If we could hit that second goal, that would be absolutely incredible, but please don't feel that you need to. It's just one of those things that us streamers do to try to turn your attention to the bottom of the screen. <laughs> the Make Sindel Fly combo code. Only 41. It's actually less than that. Basilisk. It's actually less than that. Oh, thank you, Cat Mad. That's very kind of you. I've got claws on. I've got claws on. Fl fire and ice. Fire and ice. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, the ones I just picked up. Oh, yeah, they're stronger. Which element do I want? Oh, thank you very much for the follow there, Okamian. Um... Fire? We'll go with the fire one. Bit of scorpion. Nothing wrong with a bit of scorpion. I used to, when we were kids, like me and my brother and my stepbrother, we'd all have like balaclavas with like a bit of paper on it that's coloured blue, yellow or green and we'd all pretend that we were either Sub-Zero, Scorpion or Reptile. I actually always wanted to be Sub-Zero but I always got stuck with Reptile so I was like, sure. I always got stuck with Reptile and I wanted Sub-Zero. My brothers always took it. <laughs> Even though I was the oldest one. I'm the oldest one, I should get first dibs, right? I thought the SNES version had the censored fatalities. Poor old Sid's getting slapped. Okay, the, yeah, they were slightly censored. I, do, I don't know why I remember that. Because I never had it on the SNES. Um, I think someone I knew had it on the Mega Drive. And then 
then let's go, let's keep going. I did, yes. And I will reserve judgment until I've seen more. <laughs> I know, I, yeah, but I, do I come across as a particularly imposing person? I don't think so. Any new favorites in FF4 so far? I quite, I like Edward. I think everyone hates on him unnecessarily. I quite like him. Like, he is a bit of a coward, but he's not like, he's not gone through it. I think that he, I think he's misunderstood. I think poor old Eddie's misunderstood. Another save point. Why are there two? I mean, I'll save, because why not? No, no, I feel sympathy for him. I don't pity him. That's different. I feel sympathy for him. But if you know, if he's frail, like I don't think he's like cowardly. I think he's like you know when he was in bed, he was like, "I want to help you, and I want to get out of bed to help." And they're all saying no. So I just I don't know. I think that he's just disliked unnecessarily. I feel. Yeah, I get that. But I quite like him. I think he's very cool. <laughs> well, maybe not cool. Just misunderstood. Tell her level up. Tell her stats go down when he levels up, which is quite funny. I'll give everyone a quick curage. Exactly. I think that, yeah, I mean, like, the first time you meet him, he's lost his entire family and his what misses, and you're like... And he gets backhanded by Cecil. Okay, that's the boss room, so we'll come back here. Uh, oh, well, there's nowhere else to go, is there, really? So, right. Let's just take everybody's stats. They're all healed up. He could do with a bit of MP. And we've got ethers for days, so I don't mind using one here. Um, hmm. Let's just go in. Hello. I applaud your perseverance, but the earth crystal is mine. I will not surrender it. Your journey ends here. Do you truly think those pitiful weapons of yours are match for my spells? Leave this one to us. Right, well, we're definitely going to want to turn off auto here. No, I've just turned on auto, so focus, cover, teller, analyze, I think is quite useful. Do you have anything useful here? Blink, hold, slow, protect, shell, berserk. Protect all, why not? Giving everyone protect seems like a worthy thing. Just attack. 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 Ooh, there's not a lot of damage. Miss. Oh, brilliant. Good shout. Um, shell all as well. Let's get that on. Focus. Why is he so dodgy? Like, I have, like, no accuracy against him. Fools, behold the power you face. Fire up. Oh, okay, so he's a spellcaster. Sorry, what? Oh, okay, we're meant to die. We're meant to die there. Okay. I was gonna say, I was like, what? And yes, I've just noticed that, actually, so give me a moment. I know why that's done that, actually, thinking about it. I've just realised. It's because, um, for some reason, Dissidia has this big black bar on it when I play that. So I don't know why it does it, but it's very irritating. That should be better now. I 
liked him. I like Edward. Just saying. They're in danger. Ah, oh, thank you very much for the resub there, Tillotron. Yes, six months. You're in no condition to be moving. See, look, he's trying. He's trying. Six months already. Time sure flies. Please, you must return to your bed. You'll not regain the strength of such exertion. No, I'm the only one. The only one who can save them. See, he's trying. I, I appreciate Edward. The sound of Edward's heart began to resonate from the whisper weed. Oh, <laughs> that beautiful sound. It's Edward's heart. What is this torturous noise? Strike now, Cecil. He'll not be able to maintain the strength of the magnetic field while I'm playing. Take up your sword. You'll be able to wield it now. Cool. So he can have his sword back now. So let's do that. Uh, and everyone's been fully restored. That's good to know. Mythgraven blade, for obvious reasons. Uh, wizard's hat, it's got more defences on it. Gaia gear, that's got more magic defences on it. Nope, that's all fine. Kempo gi, that's all fine. You can have the Kempo gi. Feathered cap. Then we should be all good. Right. Can't save here. Let's try. How dare you. I'll kill you all. Right, so we're going to shell first. Oh, I didn't give him a shield, did I? No, that's probably not very intelligent. Re-equip. No, don't run. Oh, I don't have a shield for him. Never mind. Um, so cover Teller while he's doing that. And then attack. White magic. Shell. On all. Attack. Oh, okay, the accuracy's gone back up now. That's good. Oh, that's going to sting. I might have to cure her with you, just to be on the safe side. I mean, that's a better hit, at the very least. I could always get in the airship afterwards and go and buy it. Well, actually, I'll be wanting to buy um, the other armor, won't I, after this? Right, then I want you to... Oh, can you... Oh, you can't use haste multiple, but I can use haste on Yang. Uh, HP is all fine, so let's just attack here. 600 damage is acceptable. Yeah, I think Yang having haste would be quite valuable here. When he's dealing quite that much damage. It seems this form will not suffice. Oh, I think I've seen this before. He transforms into a dragon, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, white magic. You just cure her. You just keep everyone topped off. Focus. Attack. Attack. Want to do that before going back to Troya? Okay. I mean, it can't hurt, can it? So. And attack. And attack. And cure. And focus. Me change. Is it really? <laughs> it's funny, like, looking back at some of these, like, old... Um, games and their translations and stuff, and how much things have changed since then. But Yang is kicking ass. Uh, focus. White match. Oh, you don't really need to do anything right now. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. He's done. <laughs> okay. Never mind. There you go. It's properly framed now, at least, so that's good. Cecil's now level 30. Good. How did that cursed sound reach this place with the crystal I was to have life eternal? 
Thank you, Edward. See, he tries. He tries. No hating on Edward. We stan Edward. Well, maybe stan's a bit strong. <laughs> right, we can teleport out now, can't we? We respect Edward. Yes, that is the correct word. We respect Edward. Right, now if I go back to that city to buy that mithril gear, I think that'll help quite a lot. Oh, it forces me back to the forest. Okay. He just jammed his way through, yeah. Hi there, Gravekeepers. How are you? Lovely of you to join us today. How, how has your day been? I stand the bard. I like that. That is a mantra right there. I stand the bard. <laughs> Are there any other bards like him, really? Are there, what other bard characters are there in Final Fantasy? I can't think now. I'm going to pop to the inn. And then I'm going to go and buy some, um... Yeah, there aren't really, are there? Like, five... Well, any of them can be. Um, six, no. Um, seven, no. Eight. Yeah, I suppose Mog is a bard, yeah. Kate Sith, yeah. Selfie, kinda. No, not really. Um... It's... Nine, no. Ten, no. Twelve, no. Um, Thirteen, no. Fourteen, it has a class. I'm gonna go to the, um, to buy the armor and then I'm gonna save. I haven't forgotten. I'm gonna go to the, uh, go buy some armor first. Yeah, I suppose Yuna is one, ish. Cause songstress. That's, that's as bad as it's gonna get, isn't it? Hi there, Cold Soggy Ramen. How are you? That is an image that I really like, didn't need actually. That's the thing, it was like Bard, well, everyone's a Bard in that. Right, let's let's get let's get some, some gear for older Cecil, shall we? Here you go, Cecil. I'm very sorry I didn't give you better armor earlier. Very sorry. There you go. Now he has defense. <laughs> now he's talking. Deuce for, uh, for type zero, yeah. The Pied Piper. Just checking what, uh, what else is available. Mithril Star, Mithril Knife, Mithril Hammer, Mithril Sword. Oh, it is actually stronger. Um, I could sell some bits and get that. If I don't, if I, if I end up not needing it, but I haven't sold a lot of my gear actually. Like I have Deathbringer and I kind of want to hold on to it because I like it. <laughs> I know that's really sad, but. I'm not buying 70 arrows. <laughs> You won't catch me this time. Yeah, see, like, like, I'll keep Deathbringer and the Demon Shield just because. I want to, alright? And I'll keep the Hades Helm as well. Gold Hairpin, I'm not going to sell that. Dark Armor. Dark Gloves, and I'll keep the Hades Gloves. Giant's Gloves. Are those better? 70 arrows channel point reward. I think you're pushing it. <laughs> oh, that makes him significantly stronger. Why has he got those? <laughs> screw, screw that. Power armlet. No, the mithril gloves were a waste, but sure, whatever. <laughs> He's got armor now, so we'll save, and then we'll go to the castle. Nothing wrong with the time for a quick save. Always, always. Double save, triple save if you have to. 
Right, let's go back and head to the castle. Oh yeah, he might be able to actually. Yeah, Sid can wear them, that's okay. Sid can wear them. But I don't know how long Sid stays in the party. I am playing the Steam version of this. Oh, he's in it for a while, okay. See, Sid's a character you don't really hear about very much, like, at all. So I might see if I can upgrade him a little bit, actually. Oh, my, no, if I get any gear in dungeons, I'll do it. It's fine. He's still hitting relatively hard, even with his wooden hammer. But first of all, we do have to apparently go through another, like, fight. <laughs> yeah, Cecil's hitting significantly harder now. Yeah, Sid's fine. <laughs> his damage is fine. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I think Sid Polandina must be really low on the list for, th for things. He just, I suppose it's just because he looks a bit of a, a bit silly, doesn't he? <laughs> I need more voice acting, I need more cane. I think that's it, it's like, sometimes the worst thing you can be is unmemorable. Like, even if you're hated, you're still remembered. The crystal. Oh, I did, I, I, I did get Cat Claws from a drop, but I assumed it was weaker, so I'll have to go double check that, actually. Earth Crystal has returned, you truly managed to reclaim it. At last. Oh, I see you have the crystal. I know that voice. Kane. Voice acted Kane, please. Everyone be quiet for Kane. I will take you to the tower where Rosa is held. Ah, oh, no grimoire Kane. Sad times. Oh no, they're significantly better. They're significantly better. Bard song. Oh, okay. Where do I go get Bard song from? From Edward? I know where he is. So that's okay. How you doing, love? You did it, didn't you? Thanks to you, Edward. You needn't thank me. It was the only thing I could do. How did you know that song would break his spell? I learned that tune some years ago while travelling as a bard. It's a melody used to ward off evil fey. I thought perhaps my serpent can disrupt his concentration. See, he's bedridden and he's still helping. He is bedridden. Tell her I dwell on it no more. Anna was happy to have been loved by a man as brave as you. Tell her <laughs> cover his face with his pillow. Mean! Mean! <laughs> All you need concern yourself with now is your health. Rest and grow strong again. I'll see the debt for Anna's death repaid with meteors. <laughs> Why is that Final Fantasy's answer for everything? Throw a meteor at it. <laughs> it's the answer to every problem. Ask Sephiroth. Or Golbez. Or Vivi. <laughs> or Teller. <laughs> Just drop a rock on it and it'll be fine. Fasoya. I don't I don't know very much about Fasoya. I don't know very much about Fasoya. You have more courage than you realise, Edward. I believe I understand now what Anna was trying to tell me. Cecil, take this with you and please save Rosa. Bard song. So we give that to Teller, do we? Yes? Safety kit is safety safety choice? Teller, Bard Song. Done. <laughs> I will have order wrong game. Yeah, pray time. Or Garlemald, yeah. Or Garlemald. And yes, I have already been to the cave, Cassius. Um, right, so now we go. Hold on. We didn't go right to the back, did we? Pap 
power of a crystal shaped by the heart of the one who holds it, an evil hand's crystal may be twisted into a terrible thing. What's happened? Well, you're useful. Whose voice was that? You're also useful. We've only just regained the crystal, but it seems we have no choice. Take it, but return it to us as soon as you're able. What was that voice? We will be of what age we can. Please take any treasure from our basement vaults that you can use. You may borrow the crystal, but guard it well. Your situation appears no less dire than our own. We will lend you the crystal as promised. Can't I just pop it back? <laughs> Can't I just put the crystal back and then that's it? And then, you know, order is restored. Isn't that how this works? So now... Airship trivia, here we go. <laughs> Can't not have airship trivia. In early dirigibles, the lifting gas used was hydrogen, used to it, used, due to its high lifting capacity and ready availability. Helium gas has always the same lifting capacity and is not flammable, unlike hydrogen, but is rare and relatively expensive. Significant amounts were first discovered in the United States, and for a while, helium was only built for airships in that country. Most airships built since the 1960s have used helium. I, I like, I like... Total aside, but I um I I, I enjoy playing with helium balloons because I find them extremely funny. Yep, yeah, metal caves all done. Metal caves all done. I hate these like blank secret passages. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know that. Remedy Ether. The helium stream. God, no. I'd die. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, doing that for hours? You'd die. It's not good for you. <laughs> Great bow. Fire arrows. Gill. Lightning arrows. Gill. Ice arrows. Well, that means that, uh... Rosa will be on our way back shortly then. A silver apple. Yes, open the chest. Dry ether. Ether. Remedy. High potion. Great bow and some arrows. And what's the apple for then? Let's have a look. Oh, max HP up. Uh, Cecil. Makes sense to have that. Thank you very much for the follow there, QZAP. Hope you're well. We're, 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 I think, like, like I said, the, 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 this, the, the follower goal is actually slightly, um, slightly inaccurate. There is slightly more than that. Oh well, I've wasted it then, and I. Oh well. It's 50 HP. I'm sure I'll live. Uh, right, so we're going to the tower then, I suppose. We'll have another quick save. Trouble is, is that I try, I try to like kind of play on instinct, and sometimes that's inaccurate. And I'm sure people who, who know these games very, or know this game very well, probably cringe when they watch me playing it. Oh, okay, it's being controlled for me. There's our cane, there's our boy. Settle does not have to see the doctor now, he's covered. Where is the earth crystal? Right here. And Rosa? She's at the Tower of Zot. Follow our ship, we'll lead you there. It's alright, I know now. So it's all good. Cain, where's he hidden himself? You need not concern yourselves with that. Goldbears would like to extend his personal gratitude for your cooperation in obtaining the crystal. Goldbears, you have fulfilled the old end of the bargain, and for that I am most grateful. Show yourself. I understand your desire to hasten our meeting, but first there is the matter of your reward. Your dear Rosa waits with me on this tower's highest floor. Should you succeed in reaching us, I will exchange it for the crystal as promised. There was nothing said of this before. Nonetheless, you would do well to hurry. I cannot guarantee her life should you choose to do so otherwise. We will be waiting. 
Oh, okay, so this is just a straight dungeon. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so this is magic damage dealio, I assume. Oh yeah, because the cutscenes push you forward slightly. Yeah, I will do. Well, they do. They've, 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 they've not got a lot of health, but I suppose it's just the classic flams, isn't it? What have we got? No XP buff. Use a quick cure. Try fire. Well, let's switch Teller up to fire then, shall we? No, not that. Alright, let's go back over here. Yeah, you can hit them, it just doesn't hit them very hard. Well, I would have thought purple. That could be either fire or ice, couldn't it? Flame mail, that seems useful. Sid might want that. Get his defences right, right up. Oh, this will be where Cal Cabrina is. This will be where Cal Cabrina is. Yeah, purple being bio or something like that. Yeah, I'm probably not wrong. Um, no. <laughs> so that explains the little dollies then, does it? <laughs> A healing staff. I don't know if that's stronger than what I've got. Well, probably not. I'll probably keep hold of the rod anyway. I'd rather have the, the white mage rolls already kind of covered for me. So let's go just quickly eat those up. No Calcabrini yet. Oh, all right. Perhaps I'm wrong. It's getting the job done. Teller's still doing his job. It's all good. Another well-known enemy. Oh, okay. Well, Death Riders. They're in loads of things. Not Calcabrina. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, that's not quite fully explored. Let's have a look up here. Hmm. I don't know. I saw the little dollies. I assumed Calcabrina. Well, I've had my tea now, so now I'm back on water again. It's like, oh. Do you know, it's my birthday in a few weeks. I'm going to be 33 years old. And I've no, like, people keep, like, my, my other half, my dad, etc., keep saying, what do you want for your birthday? And when you get to my age, you're like, I don't know. I have no idea. That's a dead end. Oh, no worries, Andy Day. Thank you for coming. Well, the trouble is, is that, like, so, like when I, when we get, when you get to the age, like, my kind of age, you're like, if I want something, I tend to just buy it. <laughs> you know? And I also think that sometimes when it comes to gift giving, like, as much as I, I appreciate every gift I ever get from anyone ever, and I never take them for granted, Sometimes I think it's nice to kind of like, when you give gifts and stuff, it's because you know what the other person would like. Like, I love buying gifts for people. I actually really love doing it. I am, however, extremely materialistic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I don't know what I would want this year, to be honest. I'm really stuck. Oh, 
a pole. What is in a like a pole dancing pole? I think yeah, like some sort of event or like anything like that. I think would be lovely. I mean, my birthday's the twenty sixth. Just FYI, my birthday's the twenty sixth of May, so I, like it's it's not far away, but it's not quite here yet. It's about it's just under four weeks away. It's on a Wednesday, I think. But I will likely be streaming at least for the morning that day, so. Uh, at least for the morning, our stream. Yeah, certainly. Well, in theory, I'd hope to have Garland's BT before my birthday, so. <laughs> Because that's like in less than two weeks time. Don't know. I'll just have to think about what I would like. I don't know. Maybe like materials to do some sort of like, like a new costume for cosplay. Stuff like that. Or um, I am still, I, I'll tell you now, I am not relying, I am not allowing any part of my like, nice day on my birthday to be dictated by a bloody gacha game. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> Just no. Um. Because last year, I went, and went for Snow EX because it was my birthday, and I got terrible luck. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's not. Because, I, because I, you know, this is me we're talking about here. I'm going to come away disappointed. Oh, a flame sword and an enemy ambush. Oh, hello. Okay, this looks like something I might have to pay attention to. Ow! Thank you for the cheer. Oh yeah, don't fire it. Oh dear, we don't definitely don't want to do that. Ta oh wait, hold on. I think he might be. Oh my god. Uh, I don't have anything. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Am I gonna die? Do I just run? Can I run? No. Oh dear. Oh god, this is bad. You can't run. I thought I was over leveled. <laughs> Tell her, get up. I need you. <laughs> okay, I don't have enough for a rise, but I can raise. Um, Sid. No, oh god, yeah, we're going down. How the heck am I meant to kill this thing? Cura. At least try and do something. These are awful. How can I silence it? I haven't got any way of doing that. Do I have... Hold on. Cast silence. Yeah, I'll sit. You do it. Cura. All. Cure at all. Okay, that didn't work. That is, this is beastly, this thing. Right, try again. Silent Bell. Phoenix down on Yang. Miss, come on, don't do this. <laughs> Can't silence. It's, oh, it's too much MP. Oh, goodness me. Well, you need to ether yourself. Dry ether. White magic, cura, on teller. Oh, Antarctic Wind. Oh, no, they're going to go down again. Ow. 
Phoenix down on Teller. God, this thing is a nightmare. Cura on Teller. Uh, let's try an Antarctic wing, see if that works. Try Blizzarga, see if that'll do it. What a horrendous enemy. That did nothing. <laughs> You're lying to me. No, oh, thank God, just before. Oh, that was an ordeal. <laughs> what was that? What an ordeal. We need a save point. That was, that was too close. I take it that's intentionally difficult. That was horrific. Get just get those cures. Get those cures in, because that was that was horrendous. Uh right. Is that stronger than what I have? Yes, quite significantly so. So that's fine. Don't like that. Didn't like that one bit. Need a save point now. Heavenly Wraths. The items do nothing. Like, that did no damage. That was rubbish. I can auto these now, I think. To be fair, that sword was worth it. The amount of damage that dealt. He cured himself. That's rude. Don't like that. Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Right, so now we're going up here. That was rudeness. Items are tied to the relevant stat. Oh, okay. Did I come from the right? You sure? I don't think I did. Did I? I'm rubbish. Okay. To be fair, he's more like a centaur type deal. Like, I don't think, like, he's still monster. He's still more monster than man, I think. Oh, well done, Sid. You've missed. Congratulations. You are the winner of this week's challenge. Again. One of the problems with like to being a streamer is that your attention is somewhat divided from the game. So it's like sometimes it's like, like I forget whether I've been where I've been, where I've come from. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Are you sure I came from the right though? I don't know how streamers who play things like like shooters maintain the opinion, like, maintain chat and stuff while they're playing. I don't know how they do it. You're right, you were right. Fine. I concede. Mmm. Speedrunners, you have to have, like, the most concentration going in order, and then people who are, like, do, like, interacting with their chat while doing it, I don't know how they do it. I don't. I think it's amazing. I'm trying to. Do you reckon there's a game out there that you could speed run? If so, what is it? I think the only one I could even begin to attempt would be Legend of Zelda One. That's the only one I could even begin to attempt. Tomb Raider Legend. Been years since I've played that. I don't think I could stream run it. I, I know Link to the Past like the back of my hand. I still don't think I could speed run it. I wouldn't want to. 
I think, because I think that there comes a point where you're playing a game so much that you just kill it for yourself. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I don't think I am either, to be fair. I don't think I'm good enough to speedrun any game. The closest, like, I, I could probably play, like I said, Zelda 1 I could probably do, like, make a, a ham-fisted attempt at. But I just wouldn't want to. I'd, I'd really struggle. I think that's it. Like I said, once you've played a game so many times, it would just it, it would just kill it for you, or it would for me anyway. Yeah, see, that's the other thing as well. What you're saying there, K Moon Doggy. Like, if you if you were playing a long game, like, if, like could you imagine? Like, I've seen people stream like speedrun FF games. Could you imagine getting to the end of that and then somehow messing up and dying? I would just never play the game again. Do you know what I mean? I, but that'd be it. I'd be done. I'd be done. Yeah, well, it, it's... Yeah, like, the mentality's just different, isn't it? Like, it's just not the same. Oh, right, okay. I need to manual here because I don't want to use fire anymore. You should probably cure yourself, to be fair. Yeah, no, I've just realised that. That's why he's not dying. Uh, that's the regular version, I think, the, P the free PS5 one. You'll just have to defend. You can attack, you're fine. Shiva, Ifrit, and Rami were recurring summons in their signature element. However, which summon was first to have the wind element? Sildra, Typhoon, Pandemonium, Sylph. It's not Sildra. Um, what would it? What did FF3 have? Sylph, I think. Yeah. FF3 had one of them. I'm sure it did, because Summoner is a role in that. I didn't pay attention to the summons except for Bahama and Leviathan. Is Sylph? No, it is Sylph. FF3 has Sylph. I'm sure of it. This is where it turns out I'm completely wrong. <laughs> I'm usually wrong on these. I was talking to somebody about this the other day, actually. I think, like, I'm not a um like a lore buff really like i don't mind i know i like learning enough about lore that i can have the conversations but i don't ever go looking deep into lore for anything like i know a lot of people really enjoy like youtube videos and stuff like of delving into really deep lore in video games just that doesn't appeal to me like i like being i like whatever's in front of me to be presented to me i'm quite basic i suppose like i, mean, I just yeah it's just like the way that i enjoy games. Poor old Teller, leave the poor man alone. Well, he's a weak divide. Oh, uh, there's, there's new games I want to buy that I can't pick up at the moment, so I'm just going to wait and save. Like, I wanted to get... I wanted to get Returnal, and I'm gonna have to wait for that. I wanted to get Pokemon Snap, gonna have to wait for that. I I, I can't really uh, afford to go spending money on more games. No, I don't want Sight. That's not what I was after. God damn it, Cecil. That's it, yeah. I think that... Because um, I think that there's a level of... Um, people thinking that if you don't, like, dive into the lore of a game that you're clearly just not a fan of it. And I'm like, well, no. Because everyone's experiences for things are different. And I really enjoy, like, the... You know, uh, things at face value. You know, I, I like... I, I don't know, I just don't... I don't want to have to feel like I'm doing homework on a game to be able to have a conversation about it. I think that games like Dark Souls are great because they appeal to people of all different kinds of, of backgrounds. Like for me, I just like a challenging game. So to go through that, I love high action, I love all of that. And the lore is there if you want it, but you don't have to go looking for it. 
And I think that, that Dark Souls in particular does it very, very well. You know, whereas I like, I, I don't know, I guess I, yeah, like I don't ever want to look at, like I have to read up on a Wikipedia page for two hours to understand what I've just seen. Do you know what I mean? But like I said, like, that's not to, like, disregard other people who do like that kind of thing, because that's totally valid as well, but, all right, I need to get an ether on, tell her again, we've got enough of them. Oh, there's a little bitty down there that I might have missed. Can't be doing with that. Okay, that's the next exit. Yeah, like, I mean, like I think most people who love these things really love their lore, but I just like um I can't think of a single franchise where I've been like that for it. Not Zelda, not Castlevania, definitely not Street Fighter, not Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, I think I just enjoy what's presented to me as I'm playing it. Because there's, the trouble is, is that there are so many, certainly with games now, that require so much of your time that you just can't explore other things. And I'm somebody that likes to explore multiple nuances and things like that. Even Automata, like, I didn't go out of my way to, like, read all of... I, I didn't read all of the lore pages or anything like that. I just enjoyed the story that was presented to me. Street Fighter... Yeah, Street Fighter's lore is all over the place. It's just a mess. It doesn't make any sense. But it's a fighting game. It's not supposed to. But, like, my favourite characters are, like, Vega and Bayonetta, and I don't go looking for lore on them. But that doesn't mean I like them any less. I'm sure there are other people that could probably sit there and say, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not a real fan. It's like with Kuja. Like, I used to turn around and say, like, people ask me why I like Kuja. And I'm like, I feel like I'm, I, like, my answer to that question probably wouldn't, like, satisfy a lot of people. And I feel kind of bad for it. Because I just like him. That's it. I, I like him aesthetically. I like his design. I like his voice. I like... You know, the story of him that is presented to me. That's as far as it goes. Oh, there's a chest here. Hell claws. Ooh, that sounds like a thing. Main click poison, slightly stronger. Well, there's more to it than that. It's not because he's pretty, it's because there's a certain archetype of character that speaks to me. Like, I very much enjoy the androgynous crazies. Like, Kadaj, I really like, from Advent Children. Like, I know a lot of people don't particularly like Kadaj, but I do. Um, trying to think of other ones that are like, I mean, even like female characters. If they're narcissistic and crazy, then I tend to like them. Melina. Melina, perfect example. Love Melina. She's a complete nut job, and I love it. That's it. I think that, like, I mean, there's that one of those dog thingies again. That was scary. I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, love LeBlanc. Absolutely, like, narcissistic to a T. Love her. <laughs> Couldn't tell you why. I just do. Uh, I'd plan to 100% the map anyway. Don't worry, I would do that. What's that mean? See, look, this is me showing my basicness. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what? Sun deer? What's that mean? Well, no, I want to know. I'm curious now. I want to know. I'm learning. I'm learning the ways of the internet. I play weeb games on the internet, and I'm not a weeb. So that are like, kind of. I get. Well, I am, but I'm. I'm like the most basic level. I don't understand a lot of the terminologies. <laughs> it's an anime term. Okay. 
So if I tell you like, oh it's a, oh it's a personality type. Oh, okay, was, oh there's a bit right at the bottom there that I haven't picked up. Oh god damn it. So what what do those mean then? Yandia and Sundia. What's that? Okay, a Japanese type of character development person that depicts a character with a personality who was initially polarized, warm, soft, cold, temperamental, hot headed, and sometimes hostile before gradually showing a warmer, friendlier side over time. No, I don't think that explains. That's that's not it. The, the basically it means a person who has feelings for someone who doesn't want to admit it and acts coy. But no, that's not it. That's not what I think. Cold dog. Oh, it's fine. We can kill that. We can kill the cold dog. Oh, and a um. No, I just like no, no, no. I don't want them to show a warm, friendly side. You got to remember, I went to go and see the film Maleficent, hoping that it was an hour and a half of Angelina Jolie just messing everything up, like just destroying things. That's all I wanted. It's all I ever want from it. I like crazy. Because I'm weird, basically. Like, I like... Jury. Jury's a really good example. Vega. Narcissistic crazies. Give me the narcissistic crazies. It's all I want. Yandere is the portmanteau of two Japanese words. Yandere, which means to be sick, and dare dare used for love struck. Yandere is often sweet, caring, and innocent before switching into... Somebody who displays an extreme, often violent, or psychotic level of devotion. No, because it's not obsession that I, I've got, I'm not, it's not obsessive characters that I like. It's narcissistic characters that I really like. Thank you very much for the host, 6LB. Would Gil count? Yeah, yeah, and Emperor. And Emperor, yeah, I love all the Mortal Kombat ladies, definitely. Um, 100%. Right, have I still got, did I get that last bit of the map? No, and now I've got to go back down and get it. Yeah, I just think that like sometimes it's just fun that for people who are just chaotic in nature. Yep, love Devora. Devora's awesome. <laughs> and then let's just Blizzara the turtle, otherwise it's gonna take ages. Um yeah, the anime, like, the, the, the anime romantic bits don't really do anything for me. Karen. Karen in Alpha, not in Street Fighter V. No, I love Asahi. I love him. Because he's just an ass, and I love that. He's narcissistic, he's an absolute pain in the backside. And that's that. I love it. <laughs> oh my god, just die. Uh, this is the Steam version of the game, yeah. See, I don't- this is the thing, I don't know anything about anime. I'm completely useless with it. I know nothing. That's the thing, Asahi's a fantastic character because he makes you feel something. It's not- it's not a good thing, but it makes you feel something. Oh, nice level ups for everybody. Okay, I've got that bit now. I need to find a save point, because I'm starting to run really low on MP. Um, so there you go, there's the- I, I mean, like, I really like Xenos, because he's narcissistic and thinks he's the best at everything. Um, who else do I really like? Castlevania. I think. Elixirs. Um, hmm. Kefka, yeah, of course we like Kefka. Kick, attack one of the soldieresses, attack the turtle, blizzard everything. Uh, no, Seymour doesn't really do it for me, weirdly. I think I just find Seymour a bit boring, honestly. Arden I like a lot. I do like Arden a lot. Seymour's entire personality is anima, I think. No, but uh, people asked me if I liked Ardid, and I said yes, that's all. I like Garland a lot, and he's not narcissistic, really. Um, trying to think of other games I really like. Uh... 
What else do I really like? Name a character that you think fits that demographic and I'll tell you if I like them or not. I see, I don't think 15 is that bad. I quite like 15. I like the Joker. I think he's overdone. Like, really overdone. Same as Harley Quinn. I used to really like Harley Quinn and then the entire world just cha like loved her and then that was it. Albedo from Xenosaga. Yes, actually. I apart from like the weird obsession with like, I can't remember her name. It's been a very long time since I played Xenosaga. But yeah. Yeah, Raphael's one of my favorites. He's not actually my favorite character in Soul Calibur though. Momo, that's the one. Thank you. Yeah, that, that got a little bit weird. Kuja's five and Vegas number. Oh, can you tell me who the rest of that list is? Chances are I probably love them all. Can you just tell me who the rest of that list is, please? <laughs> Second exit from the left. Because that's clearly like the next exit. Who else is on there? Because I, I almost guarantee I like everybody on it. Oh, it's, I, do, I haven't played Xenosaga since I was like 13. This is another dead end. Kick. Attack the doggo. Attack whatever. And then Fyra. Zhang He, yep, liked him. There's the one with that's the one with the claws, right? Like yep, liked him. <laughs> Zhang He's just Vega Light, but that's fine. <laughs> Vega Light's still Vega. <laughs> This is the right way. Well, we can have a quick explore. Because there's an exit there. I can just auto this one. Um, yeah, just post the link. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Don't go up. Right, okay. Go on, let's have a look. Curious now. Zhang He, yep. Yeah. Falco. No, I don't like him. Nobody likes Falco. Falco's not narcissistic, he's just an ass. That's different. Um Pokey Minch. I've never played any of the mother games, so I don't know about that one. Um Fawful from Mario and Luigi. Yeah, I liked him. Um definitely liked Fawful, he was very cool. Finally a save point. Um Kuja. Etna, yeah, I like Etna. Florent LaBelle, no, no, there's way better characters in Ace Attorney than him. There's way better characters than Ace Attor in Ace Attorney than him. Edgeworth, I like. I like Edgeworth a lot. And Francisca von Karma. Um, right, so let's go back and finish that map up. Now, now that we've found a save point, it's fine. Johnny Cage. There's a lot more, there's a lot of other characters I like in games more, in Mortal Kombat more than him, but I don't hate him. Um, GLaDOS, no one dislikes GLaDOS. Nobody dislikes GLaDOS, let's be honest. And then, Vega, yeah. I don't agree, like, yeah, narcissists. But I definitely think I have a, it's, it's the combination of narcissistic and crazy that I really like. So... Etna definitely fits that role from Disgaea 1. Definitely fits that. Um, obviously, Kefka Kuja, to some extent Sephiroth. Um, who else? Vayne, Melina. Um, to be honest, I think the reason I like Sephiroth as much as I do is because he is an icon in gaming history. Um, he is an icon. And there is a very damn good reason for that. People love to hate on Sephiroth nowadays, but he's an icon for a reason. Um, I know nothing. You know I know nothing about Legend of Dragoon. You've asked me about it loads of times. I don't know anything about that game. I'd say he's fairly narcissistic because he's doing it all in service of himself. How Solidor is himself? 
Um, see, I love Sephiroth now. I don't like him in Crisis Core. I think he's a bit of a whiner in Crisis Core, if I'm perfectly honest. But um, I just because I don't really like Crisis Core. <laughs> um, let me think. What other like Dracula? Dracula in Castlevania. Liquid Snake. There's a good one. Well, which one have I not been down then? I've been up the middle one. Oi, oi. Nah, Hojo's a bit boring. Like, I mean, he's not. He just doesn't fit my aesthetic. I, I don't particularly like Crisis Core because I don't like its misrepresent or its representation of its previous character. I don't like any of the compilation of FF7 stuff as an adult. Ocelot? Yeah, I like Ocelot. I think he's very well written. Well, he was well written mostly. Um, the Gaia Hammer. Oh, that's going to be a Sid weapon. We definitely want to give you that. It's Earth Elemental, but it's definitely better. Definitely a lot better. I've never. Pl I know who Handsome Jack is, but I, I, I found Borderlands really hard to get into. Like, really hard. Yeah, he's very well written in Snake Eater. Definitely. <laughs> if someone's like into Hojo, not touching that. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I'm trying to think of some of my other favourite games. Oh, Father Balder, Bayonetta. That guy is the definition of extra. I do like Virgil a lot. I definitely do like Virgil a lot. Who doesn't like Virgil? Like, come on. <laughs> Who doesn't like Virgil? Um, yeah, I definitely have a type, don't I? <laughs> Anyone who walks, like, I tell you what, I, I tell you what started it, actually, and you'll absolutely die. Has anyone here ever played Battle Arena to Shinden? Like, we're talking old school fighting game here. Old school. Does anyone remember the character Sophia? Basically, she was like, essentially just a Russian dominatrix with a whip. And every, but then she was the first character that I ever saw that did the <laughs> laugh, and I just fell in love with it. I really like Shantotto, but only because of the bitch laugh. The bitch laugh makes a character for me instantly. If a character does that, I'm in. <laughs> this one's not nearly as scary as the fiery one. No, Grimoire Vice absolutely counts. Grimoire Vice absolutely caught a glight. Darkstalkers, Jida. Does the bitch laugh. And he's a narcissistic crazy. So there's my favourite character from that franchise. <laughs> the noblewoman's laugh. See, whatever you want to call it, is it, does that have a name? It, does that, like, because that's definitely a tropey kind of thing. There's loads of characters that have that in anime and stuff, right? That's got to be a trope. Ivy. Ivy's not my favourite character in Soul Calibur, but I like her. No, I'm talking like that, but that specific character from Battle Arena to Shinden was this, uh, was, was wearing a very like slinky little black number, had a whip, Blonde ponytail, like, snatched right at the back. Like, you could tell she was into some stuff. <laughs> the Oju. Okay. Oh, link me. Link, link, give me, give me a link, and I'll tell you if it's what, if, it, if that's the one. Because I'm sure it is. Uh, you can be skipped. No, don't auto. Right, you need blizzarding. And attacking. Okay, let's have a look while this is going off. The Ojo. The Ojo. Okay. High class female character. Oh god, I'm not pressing buttons. Um, hold on. Okay, it's dead. Right. While she is often rich and occasionally even an actual bluebird, the key point is other people treat them like royalty, whether or not they actually are. 
Sometimes Mojo can actually attain a status by personality alone, by being so heavily idolised that a fan club springs around them. Uh, well... <sighs> it starts to be accurate, and then it kind of goes a bit too far in the wrong direction. Lady Dimitrescu, yes. Yes, she fits that bill very nicely. Very nicely. Oh, and it is actually called The Noble Woman's Laugh. If a character does that... I mean, I think bitch laugh sounds way cooler, but... <laughs> like, I think that that sounds more accurate. Hold on. In fact, her wealth is often a hand wave explanation for the absurd power. They make the rules because they have money. Yeah. Yeah. It's close. Alexia Ashford. Yeah. Alfred Ashford. Both of them. <laughs> No, because it's not about the money, it's about power. It's about the power. Scarlet, yes. Yes. It's like, because the irony is I hate that kind of person in real life, that you are beneath me type person, but in like fiction, love it. Oh, that's the boss fight in this. It's the MAGA sisters. Cindy and Mindy. I'm afraid your climb is at an end. Pink dude from Tales of Vesperia. I can't remember his name. Giving you a taste of our Delta attack to make sure you never see your dear Rosa again. Right, okay. Which one of them has the white mage? Because uh, there's always one that has the white magic. So cover first. Go for one of them. Focus first. Focus and kick is going to be the way. Okay, so black magic is a no-no. Uh, well, well, we'll shell then. Cindy. Right, okay. Oh, no, don't delta attack before I get my shell up. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. It's just Delta Attack by name. That's okay. I can live with that. I'll have to remember it. I'll have to remember their name. Now Mindy cast the spell. Heal. I mean, that's not healing enough. So, I mean, I'll, I guess that, like, Teller's just going to be on healing duty then. Ultimecia has the noble woman laugh? Does she? I don't remember that ever happening. Lovely. Good damage. That's what we like to see. I should probably use um, protect actually while I'm here. Let's get that on as well. Oh, to remember that. I didn't know that. Interesting bit of trivia for you there. Ultimecia does the noblewoman's laugh. So Delta Attack isn't actually an attack in this. It's just a technique. Acura. Oh, wait. Do I have... Oh, no, right, they're reflecting us. They're reflecting us. Right. Okay, so I need to be careful then. It's only Teller that's been reflected. But they're curing the wrong one anyway, so that's okay. Focus. I mean, you could just defend, really. You're a bit useless at this point in time. Q more. Yeah, I do remember him. I do remember him. Yeah, see, Teller's a bit useless at the minute. I might actually get him to cast Haste on Yang, because he's not reflected. Because Yang is, like, the damage dealer at the moment. Okay, well, that's it. Oh. Do I only have to kill one of them? No, surely not. You do have to kill them all. Right, okay, that's fine. 
I mean, you're going to Delta attack. <laughs> Burn your own sister if you want. Because <laughs> they don't have Reflect on, do they? So I'll just burn Sandy. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, she can revive them. Oh no, tell us about to use Reflect on. Uh, um, tell us about to use Faraga on the one that's got Reflect on it now. I'm just gonna keep Sid back for a second because this might hurt. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what you want. <laughs> let's get him back. Let's get you back up, shall we? And then we'll cure up him. That's. <laughs> Unequip Teller. Okay. Just attack. Just all out attack. There's only one of them left now. There we go, done. No probs. No probs. It's alright, he's back up. It's all good, it's all good. Hmm. That's a nice spell for him to learn. How could our Delta attack have failed? We're through. Tell her just wrecking face. Uh, let's pop back to the save point and tent up. Oh, uh, well, we'll save, then we'll get, um, get her to take all of his gear off. Let's tent up. Just in cases. And then we'll have a quick save. Hi there, Jubus. How are you doing? Grab the augments bef What augments? <laughs> uh, so we want to remove all of your stuff now. Where do I get the augments before I move on? I'll see. Okay, so it's not like right now I need to be doing it. Okay. I did give him... I did give them... Um, twin cast, bluff, cry, dual cast. Let me just check his abilities. I did give him them both, and I gave him Tsunami and... Bard, Bard song. Yeah, okay. Oh, Kane, there's Kane and Golbez. Impressive. Golbez. Where's Rosa? The crystal first. Rosa is safe? Never more so. Now hand over the crystal. As promised. Relinquish the earth crystal. Release Rosa. Rosa? Whoever would that be? What? He's been playing us for fools all along. Your words are as twisted as your soul. I have no business with you, old man. Oh, but I have some with you. The business of a father and a murdered daughter. Oh, go on, Teller. Get in. <laughs> go on, boy. Faraga. Teller is badass. <laughs> Feeble old man. What can you hope to do to me? Thundaga, go on, go on, tell her. He got this. <laughs> he so don't got this. <laughs> Meteor's time has come at last. No, tell her, you mustn't. <laughs> don't drop a rock on it. Don't drop a rock on it. You'll be the one it destroys. 
So be it. <laughs> Teller just gives no dams, does he? Let my life fuel the spell that ends his. It's not going to kill him, though, is it? Let's be honest. Meteor. I mean, he capped. He did cap. Okay. How could you know Meteor? Oh no! Regardless, the Earth Crystal is mine. Come, Cain. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that's made me laugh quite so much, but... Just like... Uh. <laughs> oh. Alright then. So the old man's interference severed up my hold over you. No matter, your purpose is served. Do not think this affront will be forgiven. You'll not escape this time, Golbez. You try my patience. Yep, floor tank in it. Why? Why now stay your hand? Your... You... But how? Oh. We will finish this another time. Cecil! You alright? Yes, I'm fine. But tell her. <laughs> <laughs> he done. Well, another casualty. <laughs> you shouldn't talk. I brought this on myself. Letting hate oh, consume dear. me so. Please, avenge Anna. Oh. Tell her. No. He's done. He's dead. Come on. Open your eyes, you old fool. Oh, Tella. Rest then with that daughter of yours. Oh, There's not enough voiced cutscenes in this, because they are actually really cool. I'll avenge your death in Annas. I swear it. Recall. Last stand. Fast talker. What do those do? Well, recall we know. Do I need to go backwards? Was that all of them? Or do I need to go back and get more? That was all of them. Okay, that's fine then. Give last stand to Yang. Teller sacrificed himself, body and soul, to that spell. Stubborn old man had to go and do it, didn't you? So do I want to use any of these now? What we got now? We've got twin cast, cry, bluff, dual cast, recall, last stand, fast talker. Just last stand on Yang. Okay. Does last stand do exactly what it says on the tin like it does in every game? Swap road. Now they're all at the front. That's where they need to be. All right, Kane, mate, what are you doing? What are you doing on the floor? Get up, you silly ass. Kane. Cecil. <laughs> I love those bits in these games. Like, Kane. Cecil. Silence. What have I done? Golbez held sway over your mind. None of this was your doing. But I was conscious of everything. Rosa, she, I. Rosa, where is she? Above, quickly, with no time. Oh, Rosa. <laughs> R 
Rosa, I knew you'd come for me. I realised the moment you left my side. Doesn't set, doesn't Kane want a bit of that though? Goodness gracious, things are certainly heating up in here. Kane, he's himself again. Forgive me, Rosa, not all of what I did was because of Golvis' spell. I just wanted to keep you by my side. Kane. Why don't you join us in our fight, Kane? Rosa, Cecil, please accept my apologies. Hey, we don't have time for this right now. We need to get out of here. Kane, let's go. Cecil, you'll help us fight Golbez, won't you? We could use your help now more than ever. Certainly. Thank you. Rosa and Kane join the party. Right, so equipment wise, let's have a look. Mithril, 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 Mithril. You want the better bow, realistically, don't you? And then some sort of arrow. Oh, poison arrow is the strongest one I have. Equip quick. Why have I got another boss coming up then? Um, well, we'll go with poison arrow just because it's the strongest one. Gold hairpin, definitely. Um, you're actually alright with what you've got, I think. Silver armlet's fine. No, nope, you're fine with that. I have another boss fight, right. I don't have anything better for this, do I? Evasion, magic defense, drops in defense. Kane and Rosa in the back. Yeah, that seems like it'd be all right, because Kane's just gonna jump, isn't he? And jump is, is jump. Do I not want to use any of the augments I've got on either Kane or Rosa? I'll take that as a no. It seems I underestimated you. I'd not have thought you strong enough to wound Lord Golbez. Oh, a bit late now. <laughs> fast Talker on Rosa. What does Fast Talker even do? Barbariccia, one of Golbez's elemental arch fiends. Ah, uh, that's that is useful actually. And then Cry is um, defense down, isn't it? Kane, so you've betrayed us, and with all that strength too, such a waste. I've betrayed no one, Barbariccia. I've returned to my senses. I pronounced that one right, correct? Barbariccia. And you've grown arrogant as well, I see. I should have killed you and Rosa both when I first had the chance, but that old wizard of yours is gone now, and meteor with him. Allow me to amend my past mistakes. I welcome you to try. You're not the only one who can ride the wind, Barbariccia. Barbariccia. Okay. Uh, so, we just jump. Yeah, because you jump into the tornado, don't you? Uh, what does upgrade even do? Oh, it uses these items. Uh, so I'm just going to defend here because I actually wanted to put protect and shell up before anything else. Focus. Which one did I just do? <laughs> Which one did I just do? Did I just do protect or shell with Cecil? Which one did I do? <laughs> I can't remember. Well, we'll soon find it. Oh wait, no, shell. No, I did shell. I also did it while Kane was in the air, which probably wasn't very wise, but oh well. Get the focus on Tornado. Oh! High potion. Cover Rosa because she has like no health. Give her a little smacky. You're gonna be curing, so cure Yang because that hurt. Jump. Boing. Uh, attack. 
Yes, good. Miss. We like that. Uh, oh, what do I have? What's that? Oh, that actually really hurt. Um, do I have... I'm gonna Hermes Sand. Oh, you can't Hermes Sandals anyone but yourself. That's really rubbish. High Potion. So, Yang, because he's got the least health. White Magic. Cura, because apparently this is gonna hurt. Oh, wow. Uh, well, you need to get... You don't have Rays, do you? Oh, you're useful. Uh, you better just cure her then. If you cure her all, I'll have Rosa do, um... Raise. Focus. White mage. Where's Raise? There it is. Raise, and then let that go off first. Nice. Right as she went into it. And then cure her straight to Sid. And then attack. And jump. Boing. All the boing. Oh, miss. Well, that's useful, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, she's got no health, is she? Fair enough. Yeah, well, you live and learn, don't you? Target all, just in case. I'm actually just going to defend, because he does nothing. Um, you can attack this turn. Focus. I'm glad it's Yang that got silenced, which is somebody that really does not care. Boing. You actually got a slap on Kane. Rudeness. Um, attack. Attack. Wait in the wings here. Kane's timing. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. That wasn't too bad. That lightning hit hard, though. That lightning hit hard. All the XP. Levels, levels, levels. Noise. Traitor. You may have bested me, but the last of the four remains. Do you know, I always thought that um, the four fiends had a bigger role in this game than they actually have. Not that you'll ever leave this tower alive to meet him. The tower is collapsing. She left us no escape. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Everyone gather near. The lodestone cavern. That's the no metal cavern, right? Teleport. I like that she's actually using the correct spell properly. <laughs> Your bedchamber in Baron. We're in Baron? I hope you teleported an airship over here. <laughs> Should be safe enough here now that the imposter's gone. Cecil, there's something you must know. What would that be? It's about the remaining crystals. Kane, we've lost the earth crystal. Golbez holds all of them now. No, he holds four. You mean to say that there's more of them? Come to think of it, I've heard tales of others. You speak of the dark crystals. I do. The four of this world are crystals of light, and for every light there's a shadow cast. Then the dark crystals are real. Quite. Golbez holds about half of the crystals. But even if the tales are true, how would we be able to find them? No doubt we wouldn't, but Golbez already has. Then we must reach them before he does. Where are they hidden? Where the name implies the deep, dark bowels of the underworld. The underworld? How are we supposed to get there? Start digging? Please, there is more. He said the older the crystals were gathered, the way to the moon would be opened. The moon! I understand it no more than you, but he said that this was the key. So how many of the final party members do I actually have? Cecil, obviously. I'm assuming Kane. Not sure about Rosa and Yang? Three. Oh, so Rosa there. So Yang's not a final party member. There is a place where it must be offered and doing so will open a path to the underworld. A place, but where? That much I do not know. What's to worry about? We've got the Enterprise. We can fly circles around the world in the blink of an eye. Sid, the Enterprise is still at the Tower of Zot. Oh good, they did remember that then. 
The Enterprise destroys beyond those other ships. I've already flown her back to Baron by remote control. Then I believe our course of action is decided. I don't know what we'd do without you, Sid. Me neither. Guess we'll leave in the morning, then. No better way than to start searching for an entrance to the underworld with a sound night's sleep. I wonder, what made, Gol what made Golbez falter? Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. We should get some rest. Alright, best be on our way. So is it worth using some of these now? Because everyone says that... Oh, no. So should Twin Cast go on Cecil and Rosa? Because that's the one that people say to... Um, the combination that you, do, that you use to get Ultima. Dual cast is best on Rydia. Oh, so Rydia is one of the last party members. Okay. I don't know who the other two would... Uh, well, so then it would be Kane, Cecil, Rosa, Rydia. So who would the fifth one be? So there's Edward... Yang. It's not them. Who else is in FF4? For Sawyer, Edge. So it's obviously not Theodore. Ninja. Oh, so Edge. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, right, so let's move on. It wasn't too difficult to figure out, to be honest. So it's, it's worth doing it now. I mean, because obviously once I do this, I can't turn it. I can't take it back, can I? Um, I'm just gonna like I'm gonna wait. <laughs> It doesn't make a difference if I do it now or later. Might as well do it. Yeah, I'll go save first. I'll find a save point. I've got to figure out where I'm going first. Baron Castle. Well, that just goes up to nowhere. Cry on Kane. Okay. <laughs> Why cry on Kane? That's such a weird thing to put on him. But I suppose if all he does is then jump, then yeah, sure. It gives him another. It gives him a support role, doesn't it? Bluff should go to Rid. Yeah, see now that now that I know who the final party is, I don't mind people telling me what should go, who should go on what, or what should go on who. Words. Bluff is bluff. Just like your next spell does more damage, or is it you have more magic power for the rest of the fight? Right, well that's that then, so we'll have a quick save. For a few turns, okay. Bluff is a status, right, okay. Yeah, Cecil should go on Rosa, Kane should go on Cecil, and that's and then Rosa can just switch it up and however she wants. That's how it should go, right? Right, so let's use some of these then. So twin cast on Cecil and Rosa. No, not on Sid, Rosa. And then cry on Kane. So, will he keep cry when he? Because you say he leaves the party again. Will he keep it when he comes back? Right. Okay. So yeah, we'll have that. Bluff dual cast. I'll wait, I'll, I'll figure those ones out as I go. <laughs> uh, but first things first. Oh, do you? Okay. So Cecil. Get twin cast. Uh, I could change items to counter, can't I? Oh, oh no, counter's not a command, it's auto. It's an auto, uh, auto command, okay. 
So then she... Well, we can get rid of aim for twin cast. And then they're all fine. And then Kane doesn't have anything else, so we'll give him cry. Get rid of attack and keep aim, really. Yes, you can. But why would you do that? But doesn't magic automatically hit anyway? And if I have a bow... Well, yeah, but if I can't attack, if I'm taking attack away for aim, then that doesn't make sense. Right, so I now need to go back to the Chocobo Forest to go and get Tornado. Oh, aim is an attack. Oh, fair enough then. Yeah, alright. Oh, I thought it was a status like bluff, etc. Fair enough then. But we'll change that to aim then. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, I might just change it to cry. Just because it amuses me greatly. Because there's everyone else is attacking except Kane, who's lowering defences. That makes sense to me. Try out the twin cast. You're alright. And then I'll rest up here and then I'll um I'll go get Tornado. Well, let's have a look. Surprised. Cry. God, that's slow. Well, yeah, but I'm about to use a load of MP on Twin Cast, aren't I? Oh, it paralyzed. No. <laughs> Absolute rip, Rooney. I'll have to try on the next one. Oh, Rose of Love, really? Damage, please. We'll try that again, shall we? We'll try that again. Yeah, I'll get it in the combat to the cave, won't I? So, just check statuses. Yeah, nothing's been lost, so it's fine. Kane crying is quite funny. Let's try this again. Oh, I'm on also. Focus. Twin cast. Twin cast is like... Oh, the rows are the wrong way Oh no, it's back attack. It's back attack. That's why that is. Don't petrify me before it goes off. Pyroblast. That's not the right one. That wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't Ultima. Oh, it's random. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, it still hit hard. No, I'm not disputing that. I was just like, but that wasn't Ultima. People were lying to me. Oh, I've got to take all the armor off, and I. Oh, the oh, okay. So it, the elf is dead, and then that's okay, right? So we'll land over here. We'll go and find Tornade. Cry, please. <laughs> yeah, go on, cry. It's still amusing. <laughs> so how do you... D does the sink not... How do you get, like, make the sink 100% or is that the random bit?
That's the random bit. Right, okay. Ah, uh, no, it's too late. Never mind. I mean, everything here's gonna die, so that's all good. Yeah, I'll, I'll use it when it comes up. It'll be fine. Oh, does it? Cecil's level went up. Yay. So the leveling in this does seem perfectly, like, fine. Like, it doesn't seem like it takes forever to gain levels as you progress, which I enjoy. Oh, no, both Cecil and Rosa do have 99 MP. But I fear it's wasted in this particular area. So does it, are the spells different depending on who's holding them then? Or is it just especially for Cecil and Rosa thing? Because obviously if I've got it on those two, I'm not going to see what the other combinations could be. So I'm just curious as to what they were. Oh, okay, right. There's the full list. Let's have a quick gander. I'm curious now. So, Twin Meteor. Well, I've just spoiled something for myself there. <laughs> Whoops. Uh... <laughs> Should have really guessed by the name Twin Meteor, shouldn't I? Um... Well, who uses Twin Meteor? <laughs> it's not down here. So, Bubble is Kane and Rosa, or Kane and Cecil. Faith. Oh, Faith and Bravery. Oh, okay. Edge and Rydia, Edge and Cecil, Rydia and Rosa. Pyroblast is anyone. Comet is anyone. Yeah, so Bubble, Faith, Bravery, and Ultima are the exclusive ones. Okay. Palom and Porum can also do Twin Meteor, apparently. But yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Blaster. <sighs> no, it says you can do it on this. Because the augment twin cast is only in this. Whirl Whisker. Well, Rose is gaining a bit of level. That's fine. That's something. So where on earth is this... It's not there. The elf boss room. Okay, that's fine. I know vaguely where I'm going for that then. And then hopefully Kane and Rose will get a bit of leveling out of it while we're at it. Be handy. At least Rosa can do some damage. Like, it's not amazing, but it's some damage. Uh, right, no, it's not that way, it's this way. Oh my god, there's so many random battles. I can't wait till we get to the later game so that we can get zero encounter things. <laughs> I mean, he looks like it. I, I thought that was his name. Oh, thank you very much for the follow there, Fire Saiyan. She is doing more damage than Kane, that's very true. 
But that's because on auto, I just figured that it was worth doing that for the sake of having the MP, like, or having the, the overall damage capabilities go up. You can gear Rosa as a damage dealer, that's amazing. How does that even work? Just as a twin caster, or...? No, you get so many damage dealers in this. Like, I mean... Heroin robe and Artemis bow. <laughs> Excuse me. Why not? Why not have her as a damage dealer, right? Why not? I looked at the SNES version not too long ago, actually. It's so different. So different. Because there's been so many versions of this game. Like, not even, like... Um, obviously, the big ones are the original, the DS... And the PSP ones. Whirlwind. So who gets Whirlwind, if anyone? Nope, I haven't played any of them until just now. Save it. Did I get... Did I get Mind Flayer Summon? No, I didn't see it if I do. Right, let's teleport out. Oh, I'm in the... No, I'm in the wrong bit. <laughs> Casting Meteor every battle as a five-year-old. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. That's just funny. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Oh, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me when my inventory is a bit of a, of a state. Uh, let him go back. Oh, the SNES. There's some people do that, yeah. Get some greens gone, there they are. Just gonna check what I can do with um fat chockey. Bestiary event theatre music box. How far into the bestiary are we? 41%. Quite a way to go. I hate no, no, the one that gets me is when people say the SNES. I'm like, no no no, pick one. Either say it as one word or let or play it out as one as letters. Don't half and half it. That's weird. The SNES, no. Big no. Or the Super NES, yeah, exactly. One or the other, not both. You can't have it both ways. <laughs> uh, let's go to the inn. And then, right. Now, where have I got to go here? So, what have I got to do with this magma rock then? White Bocco only does MP, not HP. Throw it in a hole. Um, okay. Where are we going? Uh, 
The one town that hasn't had story relevance yet. I suppose there's that one I went that I went to down here. The South Middle Village. Oh, okay. That wasn't where I was going to go. Yeah, I can, but I didn't. <laughs> I lost like a couple hundred gil. I'll live. Agart. Is that this one down here? Yes, it is. Right, okay. So, this is the village of Agar, where are people of dwarven lineage. The well within this garden has been a symbol of our village since it fell. Its depth is said to be immeasurable. Guess it's that then. Where is it? Magma Rock. Magma Stone. There it is. What's this? It's glowing. Let me see it. That's strange, it's getting warmer. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I do still have the Hades Helm, yes. What in the world is happening? Oops. May have made a hole in the world. <laughs> Sorry. I'll just carry on. The one in this guy. Nothing, nothing in toward. Everyone's perfectly chill about the fact that we just literally exploded the mountain next to it. There is a proverb of our village that tells us all the things that we see has a darker inverse to which we do not, even the world itself. No one cares that we just exploded the mountains. What? I'm really strong. Oh, no problem, Maverick. <laughs> Thank you very Didn't much for the resub. Me in my grandpa's grandpa's great grandpa was even stronger. Anyways, looking forward to this since FF is still a learning curve for me since I've watched all story re recaps in 115 tactics and type zero. Oh, no worries. Well, thank you very much. Well, this is all very, very basic gear, so we don't want any of that. So I think that the next thing is just going to be diving into the underworld, isn't it? Where are we going? Let's go down here. Saving. Well, I'm going to save and I'm actually going to end the stream there. I think that's a really good place to end everything there because we've been playing. It's nearly 9pm and I think that's going to be a really good place to go. Um, to leave it so that we've got a lovely platform for the next time. So thank you all very, very much for coming along. Um, I will see you guys on Sunday for FF14 and I'm actually going to be doing my next uh, major uh, sort of future pulls video for Dissidia very soon. I'm going to be doing a stream for that so that we can all learn together and do it that way. And I think that'll be really fun and a nice sort of exercise for us as a community. So that'll be great. Um, but yeah. Oh, thank you very much for the resub there, Goose. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. And don't forget to check uh, the um, don't, like the links down below for this giveaway. For this little piece right, right here. Because if anyone wants a chance of winning that, then they need to enter by following the channel and, enter and using the links down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for doing so. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for any future, uh, future videos I might be making. And um, so yeah, that's going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Take care.